this year in March, uh, Marcella was diagnosed with a rare bone tumor. It's actually called an aneurysmal bone cyst and it is benign, but it is very destructive. It deforms the bone. And here at Nationwide, Dr. Murakami does sclerotherapy, which is non-invasive. Um, Marcello's tumor just happens to be in a, in a location where removing it um, could cause him to lose function in his left leg. So we are trying first um, sclerotherapy, hoping that that will work. So it's been a long journey. Um, we actually found this tumor when he broke his hand playing football. Um, and I had noticed he was sitting funny, so I asked them if they can see if something was wrong, and they took an x-ray, and that's where they found the tumor. Um, initially, they thought it was just uh, fractured from sports. Just a broken bone from, like, they said it was an old fracture, and they were, they, if they were to guess, they said that it would be from, like, around January mm -hmm. from last year. So they thought it was just an old fracture that didn't heal correctly. And then we did an MRI, which came out that it could possibly be sarcoma. So we went to an oncologist who said, no, I'm pretty sure it's not. And so then they sent us to another hospital who said, okay, we think this is an aneurysmal bone cyst. Um, they went ahead and did a biopsy in the first treatment. Um, our first uh, biopsy was inconclusive. So they went ahead with aneurysmal bone cyst and then they did another treatment. Um, and then, something didn't feel right and then that's when we started to do more research and found Dr. Murakami. Um, one of the ladies there that works with him told us um, that you know that these services would be there for us um, because he will have to be having these treatments every 90 days and we are coming from Florida um, and that's how we found out. I definitely did some research especially once I got the package um, offering the stay and the dates. Um, we did, we went online, we looked at the facilities and then that's really where we've um, decided to do the fundraiser because we um, were very touched by what you guys do. So it was definitely a lot more than I expected. Uh, first, it's, it's very big. I don't think we were expecting, right Marcelo, for it to be this big. I wasn't expecting it to be close to all the, to be this close to the nationwide. Um, how, how they have, they welcome people when they come in and it, they're really nice. Oh, as yeah. soon as I went to the elevator, the first elevator. Um, as soon as I got up to the top, to our floor, I saw how it was all like Ohio. There was an, there was a, there was a sticker on the wall of an Ohio player for basketball. There was a stadium for a sticker of it, and there was like a locker room. It was kind of like you know, as if you were in a locker room, and it had like mm -hmm. there was like two, there was two glass cases filled with some Ohio stuff, and it was really cool. Um, I mainly do gymnastics. Um, I've done it for six years. I've been on the team for five years. We were just starting to do gymnastics because um, I would like climb on the counters at, just to look for chocolate. <laughs> and so they thought maybe we should put you in some just rec, rec Recreation, I don't know. Recreational. Recreational. Yeah. Um, like, team for gymnastics. One of the coaches said, he, sh he should be, he's really good. He should do, he should try to be on preteen. I was, I was confused. I didn't know what was, what we were going to do. And how long it would it take till I was actually able to compete again. And now that I, now that because of Corona, um, it kind of worked out perfectly, sort of. Because I was supposed to have all like the huge meets, have to go to Colorado for because when you turn 10, it's the first year you're able to make it to the national team. Mm. And I was on the national developmental team. So they're not going to be having it. So it can't until like next year. And by then I should be ready. So he has to continue to have treatment every 90 days. So for sure we know we're coming back in January and April, and then they'll kind of decide, do we you know, space out the treatments more or what's our next step? So we do know that he'll continue with treatment here at Nationwide. Um, I'm hoping to do, uh, at least go to the Olympics and get one gold medal. Yes, he's definitely hoping to get back to gymnastics soon. He. He went from training, what, six days a week? He goes Monday through Saturday, four hours, and now nothing. So he's definitely ready, he's ready to go back. 
just thank you for donating. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but you you should you you hope that things like this shouldn't need to be a thing. But once you experience it, you realize this just for other people that just to have know that other people have a place mm -hmm. to stay. It's just. It's just really cool. Um, it's definitely one less thing to worry about for us. Um, there's been a lot of unknowns in Marcelo's journey um, and not having to worry about where we're gonna stay and knowing you know, that we're gonna be around people that are going through the same thing that we are and that understand it really means a lot.